place. I'll play this clip first, then I'll play the other one. So this is in reverse order. This one was said after. Why would you do this? Oh, hold on. Seriously, it, it's past bedtime. What do you want? First of all, oh shit. Give me just a second, guys. Let's be quick. First of all, that kind of tone is like so mean. Like a kid comes into uh, your your studio or whatever. God, I feel like I talked about this, and I, I don't. I might be hallucinating. I'll reiterate myself just in case. But this tone that he takes with his kid for interrupting him is like so needlessly mean. And the weird thing that he does about this is that he um. Seriously, it- he like leans into his microphone to make sure that he's not just having a conversation with his kid that comes in. He's having a conversation with the audience. Like him being a dickhead to his kid needs to be recorded. Like that's that's entertainment that he's offering up to his audience. It's past bedtime. What do you want? See what I mean? Like what a fucking dickhead way to to handle this. And he's he's deliberately making sure that he, that his his reactions recorded. Give me just a second, guys. Let's be quick. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These kids. Dad, what? My older sibling said I can't be on my bed. Why? Because I'm loud. Why on earth are you loud? Well, I was reciting all the words to an Alec Benjamin song. Why on earth would anyone do that? Insane people in padded rooms don't do that. Why are you reciting an Alec Benjamin song? Because I listened to it and I liked it. What was it called? I sent my therapist to therapy. You're six. You're six. Well, I like Alec Benjamin. He's 30. He's not a public school teacher. He will not. He can't marry you. We're not a Muslim country. A 30-year-old like Alec Benjamin cannot marry a six-year-old. His name is not Bin Salam Allahu Akbar Obama. He cannot do that. You cannot have an arranged marriage to Muhammad Prophet because you're American and you're goddamn Christian. And if Jesus Christ has a problem with that, he can come back down to earth and I will whip his ass to Palestine. He can throw him from the wailing wall. I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because Muhammad is garbage. You know what Paul said in Romans? He said to live is Christ. Okay, sorry. Let me repeat myself. I'm just thinking about how like scary it is for like a kid to have to talk to their dad, and then the dad is like so fucked up, then he's like weird and spinning like this. I assume that they are familiar now with what Rakeda is like intoxicated, but it's still like creepy and weird. It's like scary. Like why is why is dad? So fucking incoherent and, and acting so weird, you know? Um, there's something else I want to say, but I'll wait until after uh, the clip so I, I don't repeat myself. You know what he didn't say? To live as Muhammad. You know why? Because there's a further expression. To live as Christ, die as gain. To rape as Muhammad. To be raped as Muhammad's child bride. And to justify the rape as the Quran. And to make it disgusting or Democrats. And to make it effective or suicide vests. And to make it worse as George Bush. And to make it even worse is CNN. Because all CNN wants to do is not shove a suicide vest up your ass, but a suicide dick with Tannerite. And give every fucking criminal a Glock 22. So that when you are government ordered to be balls deep in a homeless buttock to keep them warm, Another homeless comes up and shoots your penis with that Glock 22. And you explode. Both you, your Tannerite, your dick, and the homeless person all explode like a Cher Bukaki from Sonny's ghost when she does a seance. Johnny. 
hate everybody. This Democrat who likes skiing and who likes children sexually. Okay, so I have a I have a hot take on this. Um, Mercada, whose brain is permanently fried by trying to become an LA based comedian like his master, his lord and master, Dax Herrera, aka Juju the Cow, aka Daxy Pad, a man who likes to get fucked in the ass while dressed as a cow. Um, his brain is fried from trying to emulate his LA comedian bullshit. So he tries to make everything in his stand up. So he's trying, he's drunk. And he's trying to make a joke about the, the thing that just happened. The real story, a uh, kid comes in and says, um, I'm having a fight. I'm supposed to be in bed, but I'm having a fight with my sibling because I'm singing the lyrics to a song, and she's upset at me. And he goes, okay, well, what song was it? I was like, my, my therapist needs a therapist by this guy. And it's like, well, how do I make that into a joke? And I guess the first thing that comes to mind is just that she uh, – she she ha- is interested into a boy band, and he has to tell her, like, well, you know, I, which is, I mean, it's a really fucking mean thing to say to your daughter that the guys from the boy band wouldn't like you. <laughs> like, that, that's on its face is mean. It's like, I like this boy band. Oh, well, they wouldn't be into you anyways. <laughs> okay. Um, but then it's like a weirdly, like, sexual comment. Like, he's not Muslim, so he's not going to fuck you. He's not going to marry and fuck you because you're, like, six. Which, if he said that to her directly, is so insanely inappropriate that it it kind of is like disgusting. Like, how can you how can you even think about that and and articulate that into language without the words like curdling in your fucking throat as you try to say them? Like, should should you not be appalled by what you say as you say them? Then that's the first phase, right? And then he starts drunk rambling. And he starts going on and on about how much he hates pedophiles and Muslims. And I think the reason for that is, and this is just my speculation, that something like his, his the fuse blows in his brain, but way too late. Like the damage is already done. And then the fuse has a delayed reaction and it breaks. Not enough to protect anything, but uh, late enough, for, I mean, early enough where it's like kind of worth like trying to roll this into a, an actual joke. And I think that that might be because of his live chat. His live chat's not embedded into the video, so I can't, I can't tell you for certain. But I have a feeling that someone in his live chat or Discord was like, uh, "Bro, that's fucking gross and wildly inappropriate for you to say." So he decides to go. He tries to like roll this into a nonsense joke about how about like blowing up Muslim pedophiles and the Democrats are evil, and it's just like a, a complete failure of a joke that he's desperately trying to make because I feel like in his head, it's like, if I can just throw enough guard, it's kind of like I started this fire. I started this fire accidentally and now I need to smother it. If I take this shovel and I shovel enough shit on top of this fire, the, the fire will be smothered and people will just think it's a bad joke and not creepy. And that doesn't work because unfortunately the cow shit is rich in sulfur and it just begins to burn <laughs> the cow shit just begins to burn too and now you have this fire that this gasoline fire which is now a white sulfur burning pile of cow shit that <laughs> that's the work of your own creation um and the, I, I mentioned that I went to talk about, you can see the date is from a while ago, uh, 10 days ago and it's like I, I've been wanting to talk about this but I, I wanted to be careful about how I talked about it because it happened twice I'm pretty sure this is a different clip. It's only 55 seconds, but he says basically the same thing. Then dinner time comes around and my kids have their church activities because it's Wednesday and we go to a Protestant church and Protestants are broken backwards people because they're like, you know what? Catholics are wrong about everything because the Pope. Now this Pope, remember which Pope they split from. Remember that Protestants split from the Pope who's like, yeah, you got to buy stuff from me like forgiveness. And I'm going to kill all the, and they're like, oh, well, we want to be Protestants who hate all the same people, but we just don't want, like, we want a divorce or whatever, the king. And so they, uh, they do that, and then they become progressively more weird over the years. So Protestants are like, no, Wednesday night, what we have to do is gather all the children in one place. Like, that's strange. Not even the Catholics are that gross. But that's what the Protestants do. They gather all the children in one place on Wednesday. So uh, I have to take all my kids to the church activities. And, of course, it's a parent participation night. 
So that's like another, uh, that's not only like another child molestation joke at the expense of his own family. That's a child molestation joke at the expense of his entire congregation. The joke is, is that he takes his children to a Protestant church where there is a family child-friendly event that they do, you know, because that's the whole point of a fucking church is basically just like a youth, a way to keep kids busy so that that mom and dad can chill out for a second and, and congregate with other people. Um... And he makes a joke that you, that they're like all bringing their kids to the church to get molested because that's what he's implying by the the Catholics aren't that gross, which is just like the most like number one again number one how can you even joke about that about your own kids and then number two how can you say that about your own congregation like there's probably dozens of people right who go to this church and you know all of them. You know every single person at this congregation by name, and they know you by name, and they know your entire extended family by name, and the weirdos on the internet who you live stream to know your church, and you're going to make a joke about all those kids at your congregation being rounded up to be molested. It just seems like a profoundly stupid fucking thing. And the uh, the weird thing is, is that he didn't make jokes like this before. Uh, and it's, it's just like, you know, your daughter likes a, a, a boy band. So you you think that that she wants to get married to him when she's six. It's like girls just like stuff sometimes. And sometimes it's by men. It doesn't mean that she's sexually attracted to him. It, it's such a weird thing. Like kids don't think like that. Then you want to tie your, your, you want not only do you want to make weird molestation jokes about your kids, but other people's kids, other people again, other people that he knows, he knows all of these people at his church, and he's still he's still gonna like say shit like that about them, even as a joke. It's too much time around fucking Vito and, and Dick, really. If I'm gonna be charitable and not assume that this is just how he is, and it's not just like how his brain is now. Like, this is the consequence of being around people like Vito the Pedo and Juju the Cow, who think that child molestation is just, like, the funniest final frontier of comedy. And once they figure it out, once they figure out the formula of how to make child rape hilarious, then they'll be the best comedians that L.A. has ever seen. And that's the the most favorable way to interpret this. The, the only other way to interpret it is that he just now thinks that... Th- his own children being raped, the children of his friends and family being raped is like fodder for his shitty online stand-up. It's, uh, it's really fucking gross. It's really, 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 really fucking gross, and I don't know why he's like this. I don't. It's so, it's so frustrating, and it's again one of those things where it's like, was he always like this, or did he change? Because um, I remember once upon a time, he used to be really animated and performative about how... He didn't like things like this. Like, if you don't remember, if you don't, if you didn't watch Nick way back when, at the early points of his stream, where um, he was just getting started, he was um, so much into like the the trad dad LARP as like an identity that he didn't swear, he didn't use profanity. So, and this was like, this is not like 10 years ago. This isn't like someone found a 10 year old clip of him on like a radio show as like a, as like a guest call in like, yeah, um, I want to, I want to hear this song. And also, you know, I don't like how you guys use profanity. It's not like a thing like that where someone just like, that was like two years ago. It was literally like two years ago that he was doing his uh, trad dad thing as like one of the most successful law, law tubers at the time. And now, like, just two years later, he's making child molestation jokes at the expense of his entire congregation. And it's just completely unfucking imaginable how that could have happened. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much a, a fucking tragedy and a half, to be real. Um, that's all I have to say about it, though. I, I mean, and I get that, like, this is, like... How much? Like four minutes of audio from hours and hours of him streaming and shit. But it's like, I feel like it. I stream a lot. How long do I stream? I stream for like three or four hours a day, twice a week. That's like eight times a month, right? 
times that by I'll say two and a half. So that's sixteen twenty two twenty two hours of stream a month. I managed to avoid not making jokes about kids getting raped, I think. Pretty sure. Such is life, I guess. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!